Uncovering deep-rooted sadness, anger, fears, and things that we have held within our unconscious mind and held deeply in the body can be really challenging. It can be a struggle. And when people come to me, they are often, some people express that they are scared of what may arise and what may come up and what may come through. And what I always tell people is, would you rather feel this low grade in your body and in your awareness day after day after year after year after decade? Or would you rather feel it a bit intensely all to have it release and dissipate? Now, this time I am finding for a lot of people is bringing up some of those emotions, whether you are desiring them to come up and be revealed or not, they are coming up and being revealed. And this is this anxiety, this sadness, this depression, these emotions, these memories, these deep rooted fears and things that perhaps don't even make logical sense. When these things come up, and we are not even provoking them or evoking them, which is happening very commonly right now, this is an opportunity to surrender to it, to allow them and actually welcome them. You see, our minds does this thing and it creates stories. It creates perceptions and beliefs of why we shouldn't look at it, why why it doesn't need to be. And, and also these ideas and narratives of feeling a need to justify it, feeling a need to explain it away and that <laughs> making sense of it. But sometimes things don't need to be made sense of. And what my guide shared with me today was the root of an issue because here's the thing if you're here you've most likely been working on root cause work for a while you've been doing this work and so now the root cause can simply just be the emotion the root cause can simply just be the fear the the sensation in the body just identifying it holding it, witnessing it, holding space for it, and allowing it to move up and through, up and through. And what happens when this, when this takes place is this alchemical process in the body when the energy moves up and through, because now we've created space. And what's really interesting is as humans, we aren't always comfortable with feeling good if we haven't felt good for a long time. And so our mind will unconsciously push away feeling good because good is not normal. Good is is foreign. And so let's now find new things that are not a vibrational match to good. This is what the mind does. But if you are feeling these patterns and things beginning to arise within you, this is that you are creating space for these new energies, for this new devotion to your mission, to your path, and to your connection with your soul and source. And contrary <laughs> to what we also have been led to believe is that we need to keep searching, we need to keep finding, we need to discover the root of it, why it happened, but do we? You've done this work. You've done the work of identifying the root, that memory, that event from this life or past. And if you have done this work, now we get to evolve into simply expanding into holding the emotion. Now, here's the interesting thing that a very much when I first learned this was such a huge awareness for me and huge eye-opening experience to learn is that this was when I first wasn't even a hypnotherapist, but I remember the very first hypnotherapy session I did, she told me 
all the majority of emotions and sadness can be distilled down to a feeling of not feeling like we are good enough. Can just be distilled down to a feeling like we are not good enough. Now this can be said a variety of different ways. But when we don't feel like we are good enough, this creates this ripple effect. So this can lead to situations and circumstances that create anger, that create sadness, that create us to act in certain ways to cope with this feeling of not feeling enough. And so now what I am proposing is simply just sitting with this feeling of not feeling enough. Sitting with and actually welcoming the feeling of not feeling enough rather than finding and seeking these avenues and paths and ways of of trying to prove with the mind and justify that we are enough or that it's okay that we don't feel enough, simply just holding the not enoughness. Could you hold the not enoughness? And here's what's really fascinating because when we allow ourselves to hold the not enoughness, now we also have the opportunity to hold also the joy, the levity, the peace, the tranquility, holding that too because we desire to feel these. We, we say we desire to feel these, but then we push them away. And so witnessing as they come up, because they will, the, the pushing away of the bad and the pushing away of the good and simply allowing and welcoming it all to just be. And when we use the breath, the breath, to breathe into the not enoughness and also to breathe into the joy, to breathe into the fears and to breathe into the space in between. This is how we begin to do this work in our daily lives because while I am always a proponent of welcoming in support and allowing ourselves to receive support and guidance and a higher perspective, we also need to do this work in our day-to-day life. And so this is where taking these moments of witnessing, because here's the thing, if we can't, if we, if we can't do the integration in between, it's going to be really challenging to move through these larger emotions as they're coming up, as they are very quite intensely right now for a lot of people. And Another thing is that, okay, we're just going to read some of what, some of this channeled message because it's so good. It's so juicy, but there are parts in there that we're just going to read some of it. We're going to read some of it. They shared that as you breathe into fear and let it move through you. You move into the challenge, no longer allowing them to have any weight over you. You move into the known with a deep trust and unwavering love that fills you and your essence. For you deeply sense, feel, and know you are supported, you are protected, and you are led by God and your soul's truth and path. We have a guest. (laughs) we have a guest and when we witness to be held witnessed sensed and known and simply allowing them to be and when you simply allow it to be you are set free you are made whole and you are now joined with your soul And when the parts of you that were hollow are now filled with the divinity, love, and God. Filled with you. Filled with your truth, love, and peace. Now, you witness the pain, the loss, the sorrow, the anger, the sadness, the disbelief. And this can be a shock to the system. However, it is essential to bring and give the physical body proper hydration, and the resources necessary to feel these emotions. So this is where a lot of these 
things that these coping mechanisms that we do, whether it is restricting, overeating, numbing using alcohol, or any type of addictions, even healthy addictions like working out, anything that you are doing to numb the emotions from simply feeling them. This is the invitation to welcome them in and proper hydration And, and now, now that you are all in and you are in, in all in on your devotion to your God, to God, you guys, I just, this is too funny. This is what recording with a sweet kitty walking around. We have to, I have to break it. You want to come say hello? Are you going to come say hello? We carry on. And so as you are all in, now the timelines of what once was crumbles. It dissolves and is recreated again, updated into a new trajectory a and a new dimension of awareness where your consciousness now resides and lives at a higher octave. And from here, you perceive and believe very different. You move and breathe very different. You move with love and God. <laughs> and your truth and beingness. You breathe into fear and let it move through you. You move into challenges and no longer allow them to have weight over you. You move into the unknown with a deep trust and an unwavering love that fills your being and your essence. For you deeply move, sense, and feel that you are supported, you are protected, and you are guided by your soul and God. <sighs> calling in your support during this time, calling in your truth and calling in laughter and joy and play as our sweet animals remind us to do because what a dichotomy what a dichotomy to hold the sadness and the and the anger and the the feeling of not enough and also to <laughs> welcome in joy and peace and love and we get to hold it both and we get to allow it and welcome both of it and so with that my loves i'm just sending you all infinite love and light.